handcrafted gifts. And I'm gonna try to do this quickly so my phone storage doesn't fill up because that has been an increasing issue lately. Okay, I am here today to share with you some projects in my flashback to last February 2021's paper pumpkin kit, which was called Bouquet of Hope. And boy, did we need hope then, boy, do we still need it now. I think we always could use hope. It's one of my top values. So I loved that theme of this kit. And you can check out what I did with it last year in my post about that. Here comes my husband, sorry for the noise, and maybe a man walking by in the background. Um, but this year I did some things a little differently. So last year I used the celebration paper that had all the flowers on it. There were two, I can't remember the name of the one I used. Again, check out last year's post. But this year I used a different paper from Celebration that I'm already forgetting the name of. It's the one with the daffodils. You can't get it anymore anyway, so maybe it doesn't matter, but, oh, I have them both here so I can tell you. Okay, good. Um, separation or lack thereof is not hurting me. And there goes my husband. Okay, so it was the Flowered and Field Designer Series paper last year. There's a little peek of it, love that. Still have some, obviously. And this year it's the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper. So Celebration, if you don't know, is a way to get more for your money by earning free exclusive product when you make purchases. And we'll have another opportunity in a few months, July, August, I believe will be the next one. But here's what I did. So I took the letters, I didn't have much left over from this kit because I shared it with my mom, but I took the leftover letters. Um, this kit had the words thinking of you in English, but then also French and German. And I sent a couple out in the French and German, but I didn't have a lot of people send those to. So I saw so many people, I didn't say some all, but many people online and I can't remember these names, I'm sorry. I didn't see any of these exact cards, but I saw the idea of cutting up the sentiment that was all kind of um, written in cursive connected into individual letters and spelling out other words, which I thought was brilliant. So I have a believe, I actually have two believes. Let's see where the other one is. A love and this I thought would be a great set of cards joy and peace some more of my values especially love that's probably my top value love hope balance those are some of my top values I'd love to know what yours are mention them in the comments if you'd like to what are some of your values um, and then I created one that was all three so this is a Z fold card and you've got love joy and peace and more dot 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 um, and then lastly this is kit but still quite different because again it uses that um daffodil afternoon dsp but this is the thinking of you although this is the negative so you can see i pulled out the sticker you're supposed to use and it left the negative space but with the space around it you can still spell out thinking of you and i added friend on top with this leftover banner and these sequence you saw throughout those were from the kit as well so that's what i uh, did with my last little bits of last February's kit. I'm gonna be flashing back to all my leftovers from last year's kits uh, throughout 2022, so keep watching. Like this video if you did, um, comment and I'll reply. The most helpful thing you can do is subscribe and share this with other people you think would be interested. I've started doing news videos, I have unboxings, tutorials, these show and tells, all sorts of things. So if you enjoy crafting like I do and sharing it with others to connect with creativity like I do, then join me here on Handcrafted Gifts. As always, thanks for watching and happy crafting.